This is a Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle plus. It's a model ZB um, dongle E. I use these things for improving the range and strength of my home assistant Zigbee network, a little bit like a range extender. Um, I can get these for less than $30 Aussie. I've got five of them in my house and it did make a huge improvement to um, the, the speed and how well my uh, home automation system worked. They come, when you buy them, they actually come with Zigbee coordinator software on them. But if you want to use them as a, a bit like a, network, a Zigbee network extender, a range extender, you need to flash them with router firmware. Now, there are lots of guides on the internet, but I didn't find any of them that were complete or that I found easy, especially for a Windows user. So I'm going to show you how to use them. The first thing that you do is uh, you need to download some software called Secure CRT from Van Dyke Software and install it. Then download the firmware from GitHub. So this is the Van Dyke Software uh, web page. So you just select a country. I'm in Australia, hit download, and you'll see it pop up the top. When it's finished, just uh, double click on the downloaded file and install it as per usual. So this is my downloads folder. That's the file that I've just downloaded. I'm going to say yes. It'll just go through the normal series of install stuff. Next. Yeah, continue. Accept. Common, complete, next, install. Finish. The readme will pop up. You can read that. I read it before. And that's all installed. Okay, next you need to go and grab the dongle router firmware uh, the link is in the description so make sure that you're actually in this folder here router this is the file that you want click on it and then come over to this download raw file after you have installed secure CRT now reboot your computer otherwise later on you might have trouble um, accessing the com port without having done a reboot Next, in the end, you'll see that there are two tiny little screws, one there and one there. Get a tiny screwdriver, pull those guys out, and when you do, what will happen is this can slide out like that. So do that and then plug it into the USB port on your computer like this. Next up, start Secure CRT. Hit I agree. And then this box comes up, changes to serial. Now you need to find your COM port. In this case here, it's COM port nine for me. If you're not sure, you might have to plug and unplug your device until um, the, one, the one turns up that looks like this. Change the board rate to that. Click this button and then in you go. Now, there is a trick. Now you might get unlucky and you might actually get like an error message when you just go through that process. If you do, I'll show you a trick. On the board, there are two little buttons. There is a boost button and there is an RST button. So if you get a tiny little screwdriver, hold down the boost button and press the RST button once and release, and then it should reboot and then the error should go away and you should end up with um, um, a, a boot prompt. And obviously when you press those two buttons, the dongle has to be plugged into your computer at the time. Now I must admit, I've actually had some trouble at times with um, getting a, an error message. If that happens, just try in the quick connect menu, just try changing from serial to uh, back to SSH1 and back to serial, try a couple of different ports, try plugging and unplugging the, the, the dongle um, and also pressing the two little buttons on the dongle while it's inside the port 
and usually some combination of those will eventually get it to uh, connect up without an error. So I, I'm going to press those buttons now. And I've got that menu. The next thing I do is I press one. So I press one and it says begin download. Then I go to transfer, send X modem. And I basically go and navigate to the um, GitHub. Um, uh, this is the GitHub router firmware. Hit open. And now it'll transfer. Transferring. This will take a little while. So once you see the file transfer go to 100%, this menu will pop up hit two and then you'll see it start cycling through which is it actually looking for a network to connect to. So next pull your dongle out of your computer and plug it into one of these USB A wall adapters and then plug this into a yep, PowerPoint. All right do not leave this into your computer for the next part because it will not work. At this point in time too, the green light should be flashing and that is it looking for a Zigbee network. If you run into trouble with trying to pair your router, uh, your router with Home Assistant um, or if that green light stops flashing, just try pressing those two buttons again. So hold one and just press the other and it should reboot it and start looking for um, a Zigbee network and the green light should flash, start flashing again. But once you pull it out of the computer, it should just be flashing and be good to go to connect up to Home Assistant. So the next part is obviously connecting it up to Home Assistant. Now, I was going to show you this, but I think you guys should be able to do it yourself. Um, I use Zigbee to MQTT. So you just go into there, you allow your device to join. It should then uh, pick up your new router and then you can rename it, do whatever it is that you like and um, it should work. So good luck. May the force be with you.